Many guys out there believe that dating an Instagram model is an unattainable dream, reserved for the elite, the famous, and the ones with blue check marks next to their names. Well, let me tell you, my friend, that's a load of crap. I'm an average guy with no fancy status and no Hollywood connections. Yet I've found myself in the company of Instagram models and even a handful of celebrities. I didn't strategize or plot my way into their lives. It happened simply because of the way I connected with them. In this video, I will tell you how you can do the same thing. You also can find yourself dating stunning Insta models, no matter your status, or if you don't look like Chris Hemsworth. Now, before we dive deep into making you the kind of man who will be dating Instagram models, let me share a bit of my journey. I wasn't always a charismatic, confident guy with the ladies. I was the epitome of shyness and introversion during my early years. School was no stage for popularity for me until I was 16, when things took an unexpected turn and I found myself at the popular kids' table. But, as destiny would have it, even though girls started showing interest in me, I was still fumbling through the situation, shooting myself in the foot more often than not. That's when the game changer happened. I stumbled upon an old pickup video, a guide on approaching women. That moment sparked something in me. I decided to hit the streets, the parties, and the school corridors every week, attempting to approach girls and unravel the mysteries of seduction, or pickup game as some may call it. The journey could have been smoother, but it was transformative and led me to where I am today. Fast forward about a year into this transformative journey, and I found myself dating the absolute beauties of my school and town. Meeting up with different girls every month became the norm, and my fellow guys jokingly named it my superpower. Then, I found myself dating a girl who embodied everything I was looking for at that time. She was not only stunningly attractive and popular, with guys practically chasing her perfect booty, but she was an undercover hardcore gamer and nerd. Her allure extended beyond the physical, and her combination of looks and interests made her the talk of the town. I dated her for two years, and then broke up. Then, I entered full seduction machine mode, dating multiple girls at the same time and hitting the town every night. I even ventured into spontaneous all-female plus me gatherings that rhyme with Georgie. I had a strict rule. I wouldn't make a move unless the girls were an 8, 9, or 10 in a challenge to win over, earning me credits from the guys. When I stepped into the club, guys would literally exit. Some of them even confirmed to my friends that they left because my presence meant I was capturing the attention of all the ladies. I wasn't exactly a very good-looking guy. I have a big nose and thick cheeks, and my voice occasionally resembles a kid's tone. Moreover, I'm not wealthy. I lack a car and don't even know how to drive or possess a license. Yet, despite all this, I found myself sought after by models. At this point, I can confidently attract an eight or higher every time I venture out for a cold approach. That's precisely what we're delving into today. How you can date Instagram models, even if you don't fit the traditional standards of good looks, wealth, height, or any other perceived limitation. It all boils down to one simple thing I picked up from the legendary JC, rock solid inner game. Now you might not hear much about the inner game these days, but let me tell you, it's the single most crucial factor in attracting and dating girls who are, let's say, considered out of your league by societal standards. Inner game is that secret sauce, that X factor that makes you stand out. It's the unwavering confidence, the unshakable self-belief, and the unapologetic authenticity that you bring to the table. That's precisely what draws those Instagram models in. Now let's debunk the myth of objective hierarchies of attraction. You see, it's not that they don't exist, but they are more like Play-Doh, ready to be molded, manipulated, and turned upside down. Enter the mindset of the magician. I actually used to be a full-time magician. A magician is a character associated with disruption, mischief, and humor. Magicians are known for their cunning wit, unpredictability, and knack for challenging the status quo, breaking rules, and defying conventional behavior. So my way of snagging Instagram models, those dazzling beauties considered out of my league, is how a magician approaches the mind of his audience. It's about embodying the elements of the performer of magic. And I'm about to unravel the secrets of this approach that will have those stunning women eating out of the palm of your hand. Let's face it, most of us are just regular guys. We're not towering giants, not sculpted like Greek warriors, we're not rolling in money, and our Instagram follower count is far from astronomical. 
Conventional wisdom might say that the dazzlingly beautiful girls residing closer to the top of the hierarchy wouldn't give us a second glance, but that is not true. I'm about to introduce you to the mind-bending tricks of a magician, and let me tell you, these tricks can make those stunning women not just notice you, but fall head over heels for you. It's time to shatter those conventional norms and dive into the realm of enchantment. A critical point is that sending a DM to an Instagram model won't work. I'll guide you on how to approach Instagram models in general, but I can't guarantee success with a specific girl that you found randomly on Instagram. The key is to get in the same room as her to speak to her face to face. If you can't do that, forget about DMs. They won't work unless, of course, you're a celebrity. So what I'm about to share here will only work if you're a man of action. It requires turning off your phone, getting off the couch, and leaving the house to a place where you can talk to women. You must always keep in mind that every Instagram model, beyond the facade and persona, is just a regular person like anyone else. She's just an ordinary girl at home, hanging out with no makeup, hair in a bun, maybe wearing glasses, and dealing with normal imperfections. That's who she truly is. Behind all the smoke mirrors and makeup lies a person who's not too different from you. She has the same daily problems as we all have. I can guide you on how to connect with this real, authentic girl, but I cannot guide you on reaching the unattainable fake cyber persona presented on Instagram. Now, I'll guide you on the best places to meet and pick up Instagram models, even as an entirely average guy. Contrary to popular belief, trendy, high-end bars or clubs may not be ideal for meeting and picking up Instagram models. The reason is that when these attractive women go out, they often attract a lot of attention and dealing with constant approaches can become annoying for them. Many have shared with me that they try to avoid crowded places, and when they do go out, they prefer to be with their girlfriends to have a good time without interruptions. Approaching a girl in such a setting might make her see you as just another guy vying for her attention, potentially hindering her from enjoying time with her friends. While it's not impossible to succeed in such situations, it's not considered an ideal approach. There are more strategic and practical places where you can have a better chance of making a meaningful connection. The top recommendation for meeting and connecting with Instagram models is through activities such as yoga classes, wine tastings, or healthy food lessons. These are venues where women are genuinely interested and the male presence is often limited. Engaging in activities aligned with her interests provides a comfortable and social environment, making her more open to meeting new people. In these settings, she anticipates and welcomes social interactions, creating an opportunity for you to initiate a conversation. Additionally, sharing a mutual interest establishes a connection from the beginning. The relatively low number of men in such environments reduces competition, giving you a better chance to stand out and make a lasting impression. The second spot where you will find these Instagram models is in their natural habitat, none other than the clothing stores and shopping districts. Beautiful women love to shop. It's like a recreational hobby that they enjoy, especially the ones into fashion, which let's face it, many of these stunning models are. They love giving fashion advice. Now this is where you can slide in smoothly, approach her, ask for fashion guidance, and let the magic unfold. Strike up a conversation about styles and trends, and before you know it, you're not just a guy browsing through clothes. You're a guy who gets that she is passionate about fashion and appreciates it. Imagine this, you're trying on outfits together, getting her opinion, and you might even suggest going shopping together. It's not just about clothes, it's about connecting. Plus, it's a damn good excuse to spend quality time with her. And who knows, she might give you some killer fashion tips. Moscow Midnight or Blue Lagoon? You'll find these Insta models there, not surrounded by a horde of guys, but focused on what they love. And that's where you can make your move. Now let's talk about the third sweet spot, where you can bump into these Instagram models and have a shot at making a lasting impression. It's not the gym, that ship has sailed. Approaching girls at the gym has become a meme and let's face it, you don't want to be the guy who's seen as the creeper hitting on chicks while they're breaking a sweat. It's not the vibe we're going for. Find a jogging route or a spot where they work out that's different from your typical gym. Look for places where they can break a sweat without being under the gym spotlight. Think outside the treadmill, maybe a tennis court or some other secluded fitness haven. Beautiful women love to keep fit, and in these spots they can work out without feeling judged or having their guard up. 
they're more relaxed and open to conversation. Now listen up because the approach matters. Don't be that guy interrupting her while she is in the middle of her workout. That's a surefire way to get the cold shoulder. Wait for the right moment when she's resting between sets or about to wrap up. And when you do approach, be direct and be respectful. A simple, hey, excuse me, just wanted to say you caught my eye and I had to come say hi. What's your name? Goes a long way. Remember, no creepy vibes, no disrespect. Let's talk about some tactical moves to track down those models. Pop open Instagram and hit up the explore tab. Scroll through and you'll discover where these model types showcase themselves, the restaurants they frequent and so on. It's like having your personal intel agent right in your pocket. When it comes to snagging those jaw-dropping Insta models, just planting yourself in the right spot where the hottest girls gather is like most of the battle. You could be a perfect 10 in looks or charisma, but your results won't match your potential if you're lurking in a dead zone. On the flip side, imagine this. You're an average dude with a modest 5 out of 10 game, but you position yourself where a sea of stunning women surrounds you. You will be one of the few options they have and the easiest to access. Location is the commander in this conquest. The remaining 30% is having game, and the most important part of that is the inner game. The secret sauce lies in your mindset, confidence, and unshakable self-belief. Buckle up, because we're about to unravel the inner game mastery that turns regular guys into irresistible forces. All right, fam. Let's take a hot minute to vibe on this incredible energy you've been throwing my way since the last video dropped. Your support. It's like jet fuel for me. I appreciate it and it motivated me even more to keep sharing high quality information. I don't just talk the talk, I walk the walk. Everything I share comes straight from the trenches of experience because that's where the real gold is found. This is just the beginning. I'm gearing up to drop some serious knowledge bombs that not only answer the burning questions you've been Googling, but also the very answers my clients are yearning for when they contact me. All of this is for you, my tribe, my squad, my peeps. To not miss any of this, click the subscribe button below. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Let's dominate together. It all comes down to a simple yet profound mantra. You are enough. Just as you are, you possess the power to attract any woman you desire. It doesn't matter if you don't have the looks of a Hollywood star, a big bank account, or a VIP status. Inner game is about embracing the unwavering belief that who you are right now is more than enough. Your current self is more than sufficient to attract her, to captivate her attention without putting on a facade. Absorb this has the ultimate truth. I am such a great guy. Not just something you tell yourself, but it is, in fact, a truth. Gentlemen, Let's confront a truth that stands defiantly against the prevailing narratives in mainstream society and various online communities. The idea that you are enough challenges the noise surrounding the black pill and the red pill philosophies. It's a paradigm shift that asserts one simple fact. As a man, you are inherently enough to attract any woman you desire, just as you are right now. The fact that you are a man and she is a woman opens the door to possibilities between the two of you. Once you find yourself in the same room with her, you are enough to capture her attention and eventually date her. Let me illustrate this claim by delving into the profound insights I gained while studying human evolution at the university. Picture this scenario. You find yourself stranded on a desert island with the most beautiful girl in the world. This woman might not even know of your existence and seems utterly unattainable in your current reality. Now, according to the teachings imparted by my extraordinary teacher, a linguistic genius who could master new languages in a mere two months. The dynamics of human nature come into play in such a situation. Suppose you and this captivating woman are stranded on that island for an extended period. Inevitably, you will form a connection, develop a relationship, and become a couple. And this happens sooner than you might think. It's an inherent aspect of human nature. Women are naturally drawn to masculine energy, and as a man you embody that essence. Over time, the isolation and shared experiences will naturally lead her to feel attracted to you, recognizing you as a source of masculine energy. Inescapably, she'll develop feelings for you, and you'll find yourself drawn to her. It's a fundamental truth. It's the undeniable force of human connection. So, the next time you question the audacity of the claim that you are enough, remember the inherent power of human nature 
and the potential for connection that exists in every interaction. If you're aiming for Instagram models, if you're setting your sights on those nines and tens, assume attraction and internalize the belief that you are enough, and that is non-negotiable. It's not merely a suggestion. You must immerse yourself in this concept to the point where it becomes an unwavering conviction. Make yourself impervious to any evidence to the contrary, because truth be told, the world will attempt to sway you in the opposite direction. People around you, often grappling with their own struggles, may not have embraced this truth, and they'll project their doubts onto you. The idea that you are enough to attract any woman must be tattooed into your mind as a conviction, not a theory or an opinion. It should be a belief as unshakable as the certainty that the sky is blue. The key here for having magnetic confidence from any woman, no matter your looks, status, and money, confidence, is to have this mentality and assume attraction right from the beginning. Picture it as if you're already dating and she's 100% into you, even though she might not be entirely comfortable with that idea yet. This mentality will significantly enhance your success in cold approaching, as you're already operating from a position of assumed attraction, and your goal is to build comfort. While it's beneficial to pursue personal growth, hitting the gym, advancing your career, understand that these endeavors, although constructive, are not necessary to be able to attract stunners. You already possess everything required to attract hot women by having a powerful, confident belief in yourself as a man. Confidence is an internationally attractive factor for women. Now let's dive into a crucial concept. The idea that attraction is built through compliance, often by successfully navigating a girl's tests or objections. Imagine you spot a stunning 10 out of 10 girl. The question arises, what's your approach? What's your pickup line? How do you open? The truth is it doesn't matter. Why? Because you're already operating from a position of assumed attraction. The primary objective is to build comfort and gain compliance. While many guys focus on the initial approach and what to say, it's crucial to understand that the real game starts after the approach. It kicks in when she begins testing you or raising objections. Enduring and successfully addressing these tests is how you build compliance and comfort. The key to effective seduction isn't rooted in looks, money, gimmicky pickup lines, or manipulative techniques. It's about successfully navigating her tests and objections, fostering an environment of comfort and compliance. This approach also demonstrates your ability to endure tests, a desirable masculine trait. When a girl witnesses you overcoming challenges or adversity, it triggers a biological response. She starts feeling attracted, aroused, and turned on. This isn't a conscious decision on her part. It's ingrained in her DNA. Just like you are instinctively drawn to a hot girl in a bikini, women experience a similar response when they see a man overcoming obstacles when approaching them. When you decide to approach a girl, anticipate that she will test you and give you objections. In fact, welcome it because it's through successfully navigating them that you can make her comfortable with the idea of being attracted to you. A shit test typically involves the girl saying something negative or mocking you, perhaps insulting your appearance or making bratty comments. Interestingly, it's a positive sign when a girl throws these tests your way. Girls generally employ these tests when there's an interest or potential for a romantic connection. If a homeless person were to approach her, she wouldn't bother with such tests because there's no intention of a sexual context. So why does she engage in this behavior? Unconsciously, she's trying to assess whether you possess the qualities of overcoming adversity, a fundamental trait in survival and success. The genes in her want to reproduce with a guy who can face challenges. Her seemingly bratty behavior is a way to test your resilience. While it may appear challenging, the good news is that you don't need to do much your task is to endure the challenges she throws at you, maintain a smile, and stay playful and engaging in conversation. When faced with a direct request to leave or stop talking, especially in a club or bar setting, the optimal response is to acknowledge it gracefully. Simply say, okay, nice to meet you, and then withdraw. However, here's the secret. Reapproach her later in the night. Surprisingly, when you reconnect after some time has passed, you'll often find her much more receptive and warmer. Despite initial rejection, 
a later reapproach led to friendly interactions, and in many cases, we ended up back at her place. So remember when she says go away, respect it, but consider revisiting the interaction later for a more positive outcome. In my university studies, I delved into the concept of the mere exposure effect, shedding light on why reconnecting later can lead to a more positive response. This psychological phenomenon suggests that the more familiar we become with something, the more comfortable and accepting we are of it. So your objective here is to leverage the assumed attraction and use the mere exposure effect to your advantage. Now let's tackle a response you might encounter from hot girls that often confounds many guys. This is when she appears somewhat bored or indifferent. She's not providing much to work with, offering one word answers or seeming disinterested. How do you handle this situation? One way is to be indifferent to her attitude. You keep the conversation going, inject fun and have a good time by engaging in random and entertaining banter. A perfect example of this conversational style is how Craig Ferguson talks with female guests on his talk show. By mastering the art of talking entertaining, even when the girl isn't actively participating, you essentially wear her down with your banter until she becomes more engaged. It's almost like her indifference is the shit test, and you not letting that affect and letting her ruin your mood demonstrates your ability to endure and remain upbeat despite her. I am planning on making a video that delves into methods that will make you a master of having interesting and entertaining conversations that will make women remember you for years and feel a magical attraction to you. It's how you make them describe you to her girlfriends by saying, I don't know it was just something about him that I can't resist. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. But here is a quick tip on how to improve your conversations with women. It's not about the content but the delivery. You can talk about virtually anything as long as your delivery is engaging, confident, and entertaining. So free yourself from the pressure to come up with profound or captivating content. Instead, focus on keeping the conversation lively. You'll find this ability a powerful tool in your interactions. When you successfully navigate and pass these tests, it generates a considerable amount of sexual tension. As she teases you and you respond with playful banter, it establishes a powerful polarity between the two of you. When faced with tests from a 10 out of 10 girl, it's crucial to hold your frame, remain unfazed, and maintain a light and enjoyable atmosphere. Avoid coming across as needy or overly eager and exude calm confidence. This approach consistently works because highly attractive women usually have high anxiety and are drawn to men who provide a calming influence. True attraction stems from masculine energy which inherently relaxes women, reducing their anxiety. This is the fundamental reason women are naturally drawn to men. In the end, I will leave you with this. To attract model caliber girls, it's essential to assume attraction from the beginning, endure their tests, and spend quality time face to face. The attraction process can only unfold when a woman feels relaxed, familiar, and comfortable with you. Spending time together allows her to let herself be attracted to you. The concept of attraction isn't reserved for a select few. You, as a man, have the potential to become attractive to any woman by embodying the qualities of being confident and relaxed around her, enduring tests, and expressing yourself genuinely in communications. You got this. Thanks for being with me today. And if you found this video useful, remember to give it a like. For more content, subscribe to the channel. If there is anything you want me to cover in a video in the future, or if you have questions, leave a comment below. Bye for now.